Hello everybody, welcome to Sham Story Time. My name is Shamala and I am a passionate storyteller. Today we are going to continue the story that I started in the last episode. Today's episode is titled The Story of the Pigeons. Are you all ready to listen? In the last episode we saw that the fourth doll Mangala Kalyanavalli is telling the story of Champakavalli princess. And we also got to know that Champakavalli hated men. She didn't even want to see them. Champakavalli was always surrounded by maidens and her chambers were absolutely out of bounds for men and she was living a happy life. We also heard in the last episode that Vikramaditya and his brother minister Patti, both of them disguised themselves. Patti became King Shalya and Vikramaditya became his wife Vikrama and both of them approached Champakavalli's father and then Patti left Vikrama the girl in the palace and he is gone out. That's where we had stopped. So now what happened? Champakavalli became a very close friend of Vikrama the girl. They started sharing a lot of things. So one day Vikrama the girl asked her, why are you not getting married? Why are you hating men like this? All I have heard these days is that women want to marry and have children. But why you are not so? Champakavalli replied that there was a big story behind it. It went like this. There was once a big forest in which two pigeons, a male and female, lived very happily. In a big bamboo bush, both of them built a small nest and the two pigeons, whose names were Paravan and Paravai, lived happily. They did not have babies for a long time. And after they prayed to the goddess, Paravai, the female pigeon, laid two eggs. Both of them took care of the eggs so much. One day there was a forest fire, the entire bamboo bush caught fire and in it the two eggs perished. Both the mother and father Paravan and Paravai were so distraught looking at what happened to their eggs and they decided that they will also kill themselves by jumping into the fire. As they were going to jump, Paravan, the male bird, just walked away and only Paravai fell into the fire and died. Champakavalli told the story and continued that it was she who was Paravai, the female pigeon, in her previous birth. She was born as Champakavalli, the princess, carrying all the memories of her previous birth. So she told her friend Vikrama that it's because of this that I hate men. Imagine the plight of Paravai. The female pigeon jumped into the fire, but the male pigeon just walked away. That's why I don't want to have anything to do with males, she said. Vikrama listened to it carefully and it so happened the next day King Shalya, Vikrama's husband, came to the palace. He spoke to the king and took away his wife. Champakavalli was very sad to part with her friend. She felt very very upset about it. Vikrama went and told everything to Patti. A few days later Patti came to the palace disguised as a magician. So he came and performed so many magical tricks, some breath-stopping tricks. And then finally the king was so happy, he rewarded him with a lot of gold coins. The magician said, this is nothing at all. This is child's play compared to what my guru can perform, he said. Now the king was more interested. Already he was touched by all the tricks that this magician performed. But when he got to know that he had a guru and his guru could perform even better tricks, now the king was interested. The king asked, I would like to invite your guru to my palace. I want him to perform the tricks for all my courtiers. The magician said, you know what, my guru does not like to look at women at all. He hates women. He's not ready to come here. He said that and the king grew even more curious why is it so i do not know the reason but my guru always says he doesn't want to see or even be with women the king went back he shared this with his daughter champakavalli now champakavalli was very inquisitive here was a man who doesn't want to see women at all so she told her father you have to invite this guru of the magician i don't know what and i would like to personally come and see because he said he doesn't like to see women i will sit behind a screen so he doesn't know that i'm there 
So the king took a lot of pains. He once again went to the magician's house. He spoke to him and somehow invited the guru of the magician. And you can expect, right? It was King Vikramaditya disguised as the magician's guru. He came to the court of this king and he performed so many, many magical tricks. All of them were much more breathtaking than his sishya. At the end of it, the king, as instructed by his daughter, asked this guru, why don't you look at women at all? The magic guru said that he had a story about it. And then he started off this story. Long ago, in a beautiful forest, there lived two pigeons. They were called Paravan and Paravai. Both of them did not have babies. They prayed to mother goddess and after some time, the female pigeon Paravai laid two beautiful eggs. Both of them took care of the eggs. One day, unexpectedly, there was a forest fire and this bamboo bush on which the two pigeons were living caught fire and the two eggs perished in the fire. Paravan and Paravai were absolutely distraught. They could not take the fact that their eggs have perished. So both of them decided they would jump into the fire. Paravan jumped into the fire, but Paravai just walked away. And he said, I was born as Paravan in my previous birth. And when my wife just walked away, I was born with the memories of my previous birth. And I still recall how badly I was affected because she walked away. So in this birth, I have decided that I will not see women at all. You can imagine this story is heard by Princess Champakavalli sitting behind the screen. Immediately, she drew the screen and ran into the courtroom and she claimed I was Paravai in my previous birth and I did jump into the fire. Paravan said, is it true? I also jumped into the fire. And then after a huge discussion, both of them understood that they were in fact Paravan and Paravai in their previous words. And in fact, both of them had jumped into the fire, not knowing about each other's death. So they both decided to get married now and the king conducted a grand wedding for this magic guru and the princess Champakavalli. Sometime later, the magic guru told her that he was in fact King Vikramaditya the Great and he took his new bride to Ujjain, his kingdom. By then, it was the end of his six months in forest and so he started to go there and rule the kingdom. This was the story narrated by the fourth doll, Mangala Kalyanavalli, to King Bojaraja. And at the end, the puppet asked him, look at how great King Vikramaditya was. Do you think you're worthy enough to sit on his throne? It asked. By then, it was dusk and King Bojaraja decided he would retire to his chambers and come there the next morning. And that's what he did. King Bojaraja went back to his chambers. Did he come the next morning? Did the puppet in the fifth step stop him? You have to wait for the next episode. Did you all enjoy today's story? If you did, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sham Storytime. You will have access to all the stories that I upload. Every Saturday, you get to hear a story of King Vikramaditya in English and on Sundays there is a Panchatantra tale in Tamil for you. You can listen to all of these stories from the comfort of your mobile phones. My name is Shamla and I am a passionate storyteller. I will meet you in the next episode.